वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज़ एन अदर वीडियो फॉर यू थ्री न्यू स्टोरीज फर्स्ट वन इज अ स्टेटमेंट फ्राम इथियोपियन नेशनल डिफेंस फोर्स अबाउट डब्रैटसन गबर मेकाइल टेगराइज प्रेजिडेंट सेकेंडली ई एन डी एफ अम्हारा फोर्सिस एंड मलेशियाज आर ट्राइंग टू एडवेंस टूवर्ड्स कोरम Uh, in previous videos, I uh, spoke about uh, ENDF and Amhara forces uh, advanced towards uh, Alamata from Wallo, and I told you that Waja, uh, Jerota were front lines on Tigray Amhara border. From another direction, uh, ENDF and Amhara forces in Malaysia are trying to reach. They are trying to enter the southern Tigray. third viewers a new story from sodo which is main city in vulaita where a demonstration was held today uh, condemning tigray people liberation front why is that uh, in vulaita this uh, protest against tplf was held Uh, are there some factions in Vulaita which support Tigray People Liberation Front, which are against uh, the involvement of Vulaita people in the war against Tigray? Firstly, viewers, uh, the Bratsian Gabriel Mikhail, Tigray's president, for the past uh, two days, several news outlets, activists, and uh, analysts. journalists have been claiming that the uh, bratsen gabri mikhail tigray's president have been has been captured by ethiopian army a video was being shared several viewers uh, contacted me as well they shared this video with me i knew that video was old video it i i saw it last year as well so it wasn't uh, worth a new story for me uh, but people kept on claiming uh and uh, there were so many and so frequent new stories uh, about the bratsians uh, arrest by ethiopian government forces that ethiopian national defense force today had to release a statement ethiopian national defense force has denied that uh, the bratsian has been captured by ethiopian army the grave president has not been captured by ethiopian army confirmed by ethiopian national defense force today secondly endf today claimed in the statement that this propaganda was being launched by tplf itself and tplf wanted to confuse the people of ethiopia well it wasn't launched by tplf pro ethiopian government activists analysts uh, and new sources uh, shared this news old video was shared uh, so it wasn't started by tigray that i know very much clearly secondly a uh, uh, question is uh, you people uh, might have watched as well uh, the news sources which broke this news will they make corrections all day i know lots of news channels uh, youtube channels uh, account social media accounts all day they share false information people blindly believe the information without questioning them now when endf has made a correction will these news outlets apologize for this information which they spread viewers whatever your loyalties are challenge these news sources activists and journalists whenever they don't speak the truth question them challenge them otherwise they'll keep on spreading propaganda you will be victims of the propaganda so so you have a right as a viewer as a reader to know the truth 
it is the responsibility of those who are sharing information influencers news outlets journalists to share factual news stories if they are sharing false information it is your right to question them to question their uh, credibility if you don't question if you blindly follow them they'll keep on uh, misguiding you uh, secondly viewers uh, ethiopian federal and amhara regional forces are trying to enter southern tigray from two directions in some previous videos we spoke about uh, endf and amhara advance into southern tigray from wallo tigray forces retreated from wallo a few days ago from uh, gobie kobo robert kobo uh, tigray forces had to retreat uh, and after that uh, endf and amhara forces they followed a tigray forces they tried to enter southern tigray from wallo and they entered uh fighting was being reported near vaja in vaja and in jerota uh, which are on tigray amhara border southern tigray amhara border so one direction uh, from which uh, ethiopian force are trying to enter southern tigray is wallo alamata side second direction is wog himbra koram side There is a main road which links Koram with Waghimra. The road touches uh, Sikota Lali Bala Road. The road passes through mountains, uh, and uh, it's difficult to move along this road. If uh, other side is in control of mountains to the east and west of the road, uh, to the right and left of the road, you can say. and reportedly ethiopian federal forces and amhara regional forces they are trying to enter southern tigray from wog himra fighting is being reported in zata zata is on wog himra southern tigray border uh, and uh, endf and amhara forces they entered zata reportedly a few uh, zata a few hours ago but zata to koram uh, advance uh, it's a difficult task as i said earlier the road passes through mountains both uh, roads leading to koram uh, are difficult to uh, move along as i uh, told you about uh, alamata koram terrain that uh, koram on top of a mountain uh, alamata on the foot of a mountain so it's difficult to reach koram from alamata same is the case if you want to reach koram from western side here the road uh, passes through mountain so if uh, the other side is in control of the mountainous areas uh, it would be difficult for the attackers to move along the road from waghemra towards koram but reportedly from the two sides uh, ethiopian federal and amhara regional forces are trying to enter a southern tigray by the way if i remember correctly uh, in the first phase of this war in november 2020 when endf and uh, amhara forces edf captured entire tigray not entire tigray all main towns of tigray back then main breakthrough came from western side they captured humaira first then uh, they moved to shire uh, so their main uh, breakthrough back then was not from southern tigray side it was from uh, western tigray side and from eritrea side to shire so that is why uh, it is difficult to capture southern tigray from wallo let's see uh, so far two directional offensive towards southern tigray from wog himra and from wallo is underway thirdly viewers uh, walayta people uh, are protesting against tplf walayta is in snnpr home to walayta people who have been struggling for a separate regional state for years 
when TPLF was in power in Addis Ababa uh, in the form of EPRDF alliance, back then Walaitas were struggling, but they could not uh, uh, get a separate regional state. Walaitas were imprisoned uh, back then, their activists, some were pro-government, some were anti-government. Then came PMRB's government. Uh, Southwest region was created. Vulaita was not uh, uh, given a separate regional state status. And now another regional state is under consideration. Again, there is no uh, consideration, uh, there is no plan under consideration regarding creation of a Vulaita regional state. In Sodo, Vulaita city, uh, in Sodo city, Vulaita zone, we have seen demonstrations. Uh, and some Vulaita activists were put in prison a few weeks ago before the start of this war because they were rejecting creation of a new regional state in SNNPR without the creation of Vulaita separate regional uh, state of Ethiopia. So there are some factions in Vulaita which are pro-TPLF and there is uh, anti-government sentiment as well in Vulaita. And some factions have been speaking against the involvement of Vulaitas in the war ongoing in northern Ethiopia. That is why government is launching protests. Government is trying to rally support for this war in Vulaita by involving people. So protest was held in Sodo, Sodo city of Vulaita. Government backed demonstrations uh, where protesters chanted slogans against TPLF. And they accused TPLF of starting the war, of uh, endangering the lives of Tigrayans. Uh, but it was a government-backed protest in Sodo, Vulaita. That is what we learned uh, from the ground. Thank you for watching.